Alrighty then. <laughs> Let's get this started. Finally, right? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I had some, I had a couple of uh, really uh, unfun things happening right now. The screen that you guys are looking at right now, for me, it was displaying as uh, super yellow, and I had to figure out why it was why it was doing that. What a pain, right? Um, and then all of a sudden, it wouldn't let me log in. Whatever. Uh, so we're good now. We're good now. And uh, we're looking at smooth sailing from here on out. All right. So this month being the month of uh, St. Patrick's Day, um, we decided as... <laughs> hey, amigos, how is everybody doing? <laughs> it's good to see everybody. It looks like uh, it looks like YouTube's hopping today. Man, wow. Still haven't had a message from Twitch. That's fun. It's good to see. It's good to see everybody today. Um, so, our, as a as a stream team, we decided that the uh, the theme for this month would be um, would be Celtic mythology. And uh, so, what I what I went through and did is I here, let me close that because I don't need that. Uh, what I did is I took. I did a poll on my Instagram, and uh, the one that won out was uh, Mananan McLear. Um, yeah, it's it's really it's really fun. I'm really excited about it. Uh, originally, the uh, the <laughs> the poll was going pretty neck and neck, and uh, the the results came through at uh, like an even number, perfectly matched even number. And that was just, it just blew my mind. Um, and they're still kind of even. There are two different polls now. And and, and uh, we're getting kind of like a spread between uh, like this, this, this goddess of nature um, who is named Anna. Um, and then there's MacLear again, you know, and, and it's just... He's this warrior sea king, and I think I've got more of an idea of what I want to do with him. So I'm going to go ahead and push forward with him. Hey, Jose, how you doing? Sharky, barky, larky. Would would that happen to be um, Jen? Not Jenna. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my goodness. The sharks on <laughs> on Instagram. I, I'm drawing a blank right now. Oh my goodness, I hate it when that happens. Oh well, I won't dwell on it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the beautiful sphere shape here. Hey, Christoph, how you doing? Let's see, okay, so we're in edit mode, sweet. Let's go ahead and say, make polymesh mesh 3D. All right, turn on symmetry. Okay, so I want to get started. Let's go ahead and build this out. Ay, caramba. I've got to, I haven't been on the computer for a week, so it's like I'm trying to get used to where everything is at the moment. Where am I, like, where do I need to put my hands? Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to elongate this piece right here. Let's turn on Dynamesh, because why not? It's too dense, so let's take it down to like 32. That'll work better for me for right now. All right. Let's kind of smooth that out some. All right, all right, all right, all right. So what I want to do, I'm going to start off by blocking in his head. His head's going to have very, uh, uh, very, uh, very stylized sort of shape. And I'm going to start by kind of pulling it. I, like I want to, I want to make sure that the top of his head has kind of like this elongated sort of shape, and then it has like a little bit of like a like a swoop down for his uh, for his cheeks. So for right now, this is about what I've got. Um, I'm going to take this. Let's go ahead and turn off symmetry. Oh, come here, yay. 180 degrees. 
Just kind of go through, kind of give them like a like a lower half of the head. Like this sort this this part of the process is going to be like yeah you know, quite a bit uh, quite a bit less glamorous, but it's going to be. But it's going to it's going to be helpful. Okay, and do something like actually let's do it like this. We'll go through and we'll clip that like there, like that. So what I'm doing is essentially I'm just going through and taking these uh, different pieces. And, or you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm creating different uh, poly groups based off of the things that I've got. So I'm going to say auto groups just to be able to make sure that these pieces are all different. Because what I want to do, I'm going to say, in fact, let's let's take this uh, top of the head here and kind of give it its own group. Sure that that's the same and then we should be able to leave everything else about the way that it is for now okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to say deformation polished by groups and let's see let's turn this off for a second give us a little bit more of a ridge going on here Now we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of those poly groups and then we'll remesh it. It's like a fun sketch to flesh out. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's uh it's actually going to be Celtic. Um there are some things though that I mean I did this sketch as kind of like a like once I read the description of who the character is, this is what first came to my mind. So this is Manan uh McLear. Um he's uh he's essentially like god of the sea and <laughs> um uh but he's also like a warrior and a king and things like that and so it's it's um so so i'm going through and kind of drawing on the, this idea of what i what i had in my mind for um you know celtic armor and and things like that and i, I had a very limited knowledge of what celtic armor looked like but then i looked it up and it was it was similar enough let me let me go ahead and show you guys what I pulled for this. McLear. Okay, so I mean, oh, that's really small. <laughs> okay, so here, here are some examples of like old uh, Celtic armor. I loved how like this helmet is, is like almost exactly what I had drawn. So it's like, it works, it works really nicely. Um, so yeah, we've got we've got this. Uh, won't let me won't let me go into the next image without changing. Oh, and that's the same image, I guess, but cropped. And then I've got this guy right here, and this is super cool because it's got a it's got a combination of different types of textures. So it's got like the you know the leather, it's got cloth, it's got uh, metal buckles and uh, some different things like that. It's got the big uh, iron helmet probably like laced with bronze or something like that but then he's got like these wings coming off which I thought were really pretty neat um, but yeah for most of what I'm hoping to shoot for is something probably a little bit more like this um, now I mean he's got he doesn't have any kind of uh, metal metal mail um, kind of coming down his arms or down the back of his neck like I have in my drawing um, so I think I'll probably stick with having, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll have to think about that. Maybe I'll do some sort of scale mail because I, I, I do like the idea. He is, he is supposed to be kind of like the Lord of the Seas, uh, sort of thing in Celtic, um, legend. 
So, so I do want to give him a little bit of those sorts of elements to help him to, um, you know, to help it help it make sense. And let's take that intensity down. Okay, let's go ahead and we'll say auto auto groups. Come up here to geometry, make sure that our dynamesh has groups turned on. And uh, let's let's raise our resolution to 64. It's not a it's not a whole lot higher, but should be enough to be able to help uh, preserve some of these uh, crisper edges that we're trying to put in. See, gotta catch up with chat a little bit. Um, it'll be in the details, yeah, definitely for sure. <laughs> uh, I love ZBrush, but it's too complicated, and my low drawing skills don't help. Actually, you don't need to be really good at drawing in, in 2D to be really good at ZBrush. Um, yeah, and vice versa. Like you don't have to be good at three D to be good at drawing. You know, it's it's uh, it's one of those things that, um, it's one of those things that they're they can be they can each um like kind of complement each other, and you can get better at one by being better at the other. But um, you don't have to be one to be the other. Um. Yeah, I actually get I get comments like that all the time where it's like, you know, I'm not a I'm not a drawer, so I can't I can't do 3D and it's like that's that's poppycock. <laughs> yeah, if, if you uh yeah, it's it's like with any skill, you know, anything that you work hard at, you can you can get better at. Um mm. just some doof. see oh Raul your uh, your English is just fine <laughs> pero si tiene que hablarme en español igual lo puedes hacer How long have you been learning ZBrush? I started in ZBrush in 2012, so almost 10 years now. Um, I started just before I graduated from the university. Um, it's uh, it's a fantastic tool. I love ZBrush so much. <laughs> And like any opportunity I have to be able to participate with ZBrush in uh, in events and and with uh, um, beta testing and things like that, I try to take it as much as I can because I love being part of being part of the this family, you know, this streaming family. It's it's so so nice and it's just a great community and. You know, it's 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 always nice when there are you know some fun people here jumping in and and chatting and having fun so 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 yeah it's 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 really nice okay let me see so I'm going to grab mask lasso. Grab a little bit more of that. Mask out the back of the head there. And I'm just going to take these uh, these inside sections and just kind of pull them in some. Okay, 
and that's just kind of blocking in that that little area and i i know that the, that there will be changes that i'll make to this area later but i'm just kind of blocking in that shape for for now in fact we'll go through and we'll just kind of pull this uh brow down some want it to be straighter there we go let me see No history needed here. Okay. <laughs> English, please. All right. Yeah, but I'll do Spanish too. I mean, it's 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 one of those things that like, and uh, if you're going to heckle me like that, I will kick you off. Um, it's it's one of those things. I'm here to kind of cater to a bunch of different people. I'm here to to stream for a bunch of different people and for myself. So. Um, it's just something fun, something relaxed. So if you, uh, you know, if you're not interested in what's going on, or if you're not interested in me being able to help a bunch of different people and talk to a bunch of different people, then uh, you can find somewhere else to 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 stream or to to watch. Okay. Let's do this extender. Let's go ahead and extend that out. Just kind of block in a neck. This, this brush is something that's ex insanely helpful to me, is this IMM Primitives. Um, I don't like the one that comes native with, uh, <coughs> with, um, with ZBrush, so I went ahead and made my own. And it's got all these, you know, all these awesome pieces here that I, I use regularly, you know, uh, Simple Sphere. Uh, I've got this uh, Q-Sphere, which is like a rounded, uh, or a, a yeah, rounded and smooth cube. Uh, super super nice simple cube with just you know no no poles it's it's beautiful it's great I have a hexagon I've got um, a simple star that I went through and made just because you know for kicks and giggles right um, lots of different pieces that I find super super helpful and and that I use all the time but yeah <laughs> Let me see. Do you think that graphic tablet with a screen is worth it? Uh, if you're talking about like a Cintiq uh, or or something of that sort of nature, uh, it's not absolutely necessary, but it's helpful. Um, yes, I did. I did draw the character that I. This is a quick sketch that I did the other day uh, before doing like serious research into what I was thinking of doing. Um, yeah, it's it's. It's fantastic. Um, I, I I really love being able to go through and just kind of just quickly spit my my brain out onto the page, and then um, <laughs> and then I'll go through and I'll uh, use that just as like a base for my idea, and then I'll kind of like refine it, um, refine it as I sculpt. Um, but yeah, got a Cintiq. Uh, just got a Cintiq Pro 24 to learn ZBrush, and to me, it was a great investment. I didn't like the disconnect of the lower and uh, lower end tablets. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. 
it's it's one of those things. I mean, some people really really like having. Um, okay, let's let's do this. I've got. Just gonna extend that out some just to be able to kind of block in that that uh, torso shape, and then we'll go ahead and we'll build other pieces out on top of it to help. Uh, Let's go ahead and kind of shrink it in a little bit, especially here on the bottom. Okay. Just to start to give it some more of that uh, torso sort of shape. I'll rotate this guy here too. And we'll pull it out a little bit. So some of this some of these things that I go through to do to, to kind of play with my shape some play with my my idea sometimes there's a lot of push and pull in order to get this to feel the way that I want it to feel so you know there'll, there'll be a lot of back and forth I'm just trying to decide if I want to make them like like super broad chested or if I want to make them kind of you know more naturalistic but uh W, control W, control W, okay. Let's go ahead and try kind of making it so that it's a little bit less broad. <coughs> Okay, I need to go through and make sure that I don't have any creasing. It's like when you use the extender, it'll go through and it'll kind of crease things. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uncrease all. And then we'll go ahead and we'll re-mesh stuff so that it's higher in resolution. <laughs> I'm going to do let's cut let's come through in here I'm going to start working on this face a little bit let's just kind of get rid of that section oh shoot that was nasty get rid of that section of the face where it's um, where the nose will be going through I want to make sure as much as possible that like with this particular character, I feel like having a good, um, let's bring it back, having a good foundation and then and then building pieces out from that, um, I feel like that'll be helpful in making the character feel clean and making it feel uh, you know well designed and things like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Um, Upgraded to Oyan. I actually really hated Oyan. Um, I, I I actually used it uh, several years back, but uh, and they might have gotten better since then. But they were super buggy. Um, yeah, the primitives are super super useful. Hey, Quicks, how you doing? Long time no see, buddy. Let's see, let's go ahead and we'll block in a little bit of the nose here. And we'll probably block this in in a couple different pieces. Um, and actually I'm trying to decide. I think it could be cool. Let's let's do it like this. I've got I've got an idea. We'll have it we'll have it like this first. 
And then we'll take, uh, let's grab our select lasso. that for right now then I want to take let's go ahead and take this and kind of I, I really want to make sure this shape is pretty pretty straight coming down okay at the bottom of the nose is something that I'll go ahead and I'll uh, kind of build in separately but uh but yeah and actually uh, I haven't I haven't upgraded my ZBrush yet. Um, I haven't upgraded my ZBrush yet, and I know that that's uh, <laughs> typically typically I do. Typically I go through and I upgrade it the first day or two that the the update comes out. Um, but I don't know this time around. This time around, there were uh, they didn't they didn't have anybody beta test, and and so one of the things that I did is I I decided to to wait. Um, and I mean they've they've gone through and they've kind of worked through some of the uh, the issues that have come with it, um, but I I am super excited about things like the uh, the extrude alpha curve brushes. Um, Shoot that. Um, yeah, it looks super terrible so far, but yeah, it's just the block in, so it's all right. Um, It's one of those things. It's just kind of, kind of tricky, but uh, not entirely sure how I want this to go yet. Cause like I'm, I'm trying to decide if I want to have like a, like a broad bridge. In the nose, which I think seems really super cool to me, and it feels like it could fit really well with like a like a Celtic sort of. Yeah, let's get the let's get that bottom piece of the nose kind of blocked in, so that we can say that we have it. <laughs> Gonna pull this out. Yeah, this brush is actually one that I have available on my Patreon if anybody's interested in it. Um, I don't think I've made it available on my um, ArtStation store or anything like that yet. Um, but yeah, it is, it is available on, on my Patreon So for anybody who wants to, to take part in that. I do a monthly brush uh, download. Uh, for anybody in the uh, the brush collectors tier on upward, and uh, yeah, it's it's fun. It's 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 good time. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this. I'm going to say. lost a little bit too much of that resolution so maybe I'll, what I'll do is instead of or that that form right there rather so so what I'll do let's go ahead let's increase our dynamesh again let's just go up to 128 or 256 let's go to 256 and yeah, let's do 128 that's fine that'll be enough for now Uh, I'm trying to decide. I'm trying to decide 
really like, I don't know, maybe I'll just kind of merge these pieces together. Cause I might be able to get, you know, explore that shape a little bit better. If everything is all together. I go kind of back and forth sometimes based on, you know, whatever it is that I'm discovering, whatever it is that I am uh, shooting for, you know, sometimes you just have to kind of look at things differently and try things out. Okay, let's see if we can get this to to be what we want it to be. Yeah, let's let's keep on clay, I guess, for a minute. Okay. Want to try to really push this uh, center bridge of the nose here. see what we can do a lot of a lot of like stuff that I do at this stage of creation it's like it's all just exploration um, so I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out kind of what it is that is yeah, it's not that's not gonna work for me that's not gonna work for me at all I don't like it <coughs> um, let's go ahead and kind of pull this down Let me see. Yeah, so with the Hui on top, it just wasn't. It it was just super buggy. Um, scared. Oh, okay. Works fine for you now. That's good to know. Um, yes. So, so sorry to ask, but how do you isolate a polygroup and how do you mask it? So each of these polygroups, so it's, it's really nice working in polygroups because what you can do is if you control shift, click on a polygroup, it'll isolate it. And then, I mean, you can go through and if you, whatever tool you have selected to be able to work with that, you can just kind of drag over that and isolate it or whatever. Um, but if you have different polygroups, you can also use the, uh, the gizmo, control click on it. And that'll uh, that'll mask just that polygroup. Oh, there we go. There's some fine art if I ever saw it. <laughs> it's so terrible. Okay, let's just get into some some sculpting on this. This is. Uh, I do want to actually go ahead and take that nose and make it much sharper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this in. Oh shoot. Take this in, double tap. Just to make that much sharper like that. Now this might look super messy right now. It'll get it'll get cleaner. <laughs> Ta-da! No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll use my Damien standard as a way to be able to just kind of sketch onto the surface. Um, it's super, super helpful because then it's it's a way for me to be able to kind of think through ideas without having to be super literal or super clean. It's just a way for me to be able to think through uh, different ideas that I have. All right, let me 
just kind of pull that through, pull that out. It's super nasty so far. It definitely needs to be simplified. One of the reasons why I'm kind of pounding away on the face so much at first is that the face helps me to kind of set the stage for the rest of the piece. And so I'm trying to, to quickly go in, block in this face, get it so that it's looking uh, acceptable, so that it's looking good to me, so that it's getting kind of the shape language that I want, so that it's getting, you know, those sorts of things. And then I can go ahead and use that as a um kind of a benchmark for the rest of the model and uh you know to be able to set the style to be able to set the you know everything 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 okay, just kind of pull out the eyes because that wasn't very supportive of the uh the shape I was going for. Okay, let me see. Let me see. D -d 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 -d. Uh, what do you recommend to start modeling to learn? Uh, would you challenge me to do four things to help motivation? Uh, so to learn modeling, um, I would say build a library, you know, study, study professional models. Um, that's way deeper than I think I want. Um, yeah, study professional models. You know what? In fact, maybe I can take this and make that so that it's more forward take this back a little bit there yeah it's starting to work um, so yeah build a build a build a library of professional models of things that you look up to uh, both stylistically and technically so things that have good uh, good topology so I would look at things specifically that came from um, actual production. Uh, so that could be things like um, like models from your favorite movies or short films from video games. Um, Uh, it's it's always it's always important, especially when you're trying to get into an industry. You want to compare your work to what work is being produced at whatever company you want to work for. Um, anybody who says that you should not compare yourself to others is totally just out of it. Like they don't understand. <laughs> um, it's important to compare yourself to other people. Because if your work is not as good or better than their work, then they're always going to have a job and you won't. Um, it, now, I mean, that's not to say that you can't go through and compare yourself to yourself. I mean, you should definitely look back and kind of compare yourself to where you were and say, like, okay, good, I've made some improvements. But don't look at it as a, as a, as a statement of, uh, of like, oh, I'm better than yesterday, so I'm doing all right. Look at it as like, you know, here's my goal. This is where I want to be. This is where I am. And then that gap in between, you need to figure out how to fill that and be able to step yourself up. Um, it's it's super, super important. And I'm, <laughs> I harp on that a lot <laughs> um, because it's, you know, it's something that I think a lot of people are afraid of. Like they're afraid to compare themselves to other artists um they're afraid to you know to go through and say like oh well, I'm 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 not Michelangelo I'm not Donatello I'm not Raphael I'm not Leonardo you know it's like you're not you're not trying to be the ninja turtles you know <laughs> um it's important to be the absolute best that you can be 
Um, but you also need to be comparing to the masters of today uh, because they're the ones that are working stably and they're the ones that are uh, getting the jobs that you want and if you want the jobs that you want and you want to actually have those jobs you need to you need to be able to push yourself forward in a in a way that elevates your skill that elevates your abilities that elevates your um, yeah that elevates you okay I'm liking that okay that's starting that's starting to get somewhere okay let's go ahead and start pushing forward a little bit more with some of these other pieces let's get uh, I don't know, it looks rude. Let's go through, let's polish this. Uh, we'll say polish by group, sure. There we go, that's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and kind of tweak this shape some. Okay. So what I wanna do, I don't wanna like, <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to go about this, but steel sharpens steel, yeah. Oh, dude, Sean, I'm glad you were able to get your surgery. Hopefully it went well. Yeah, um, the, so for no spare time, um, the theme is going to be the same this month. Actually, I, I meant to. <laughs> I keep meaning to put out a flyer, and I haven't. I haven't done that yet. I might not make one until next month. Um, but uh, but yeah. So so just for anybody aware, I do run a a, a design challenge every month uh, called No Spare Time. Uh, these last few months have been kind of hectic, and I I did take a little bit of a hiatus. Um, at one point, <laughs> which lasted a while, because <laughs> uh, I had a bunch of projects that came in around uh, around the Thanksgiving holiday, and so like, I had I had a lot that I was uh, that I was doing that I was trying to balance, and so it just I just kind of uh, went a little inactive there. Um, but yeah, so the theme for this month is oversized um which is the same thing that we had last month but I, you know i didn't i wasn't able to go th go ahead and create um a flyer for it um i do need to go ahead and do that though okay so there's a bit of a mustache coming in there like a true McClear. <laughs> okay, this one's definitely going to have to span over into the next into the next uh, which me to get the next stream because let me see I only have until 10 between 10 and 10 30 um, and so so that's something that I'm gonna have to kind of pause on at some point I still have I still have a little over an hour so I mean it's it's totally fine but uh you know whatever <laughs> I 
trying to be a Ninja Turtle is a no pursuit. It definitely is. <laughs> that mustache is glorious. It will be. It certainly will be. Uh, David Siever. It's really hard trying to get into the industry as a beginner character artist. Yes. Um, I'm thinking to focus on character art. However, I'm still learning and I'm interested in environment art. So should I change? I feel like being able to do both is really helpful because the skills are the same. Uh, it's just a, it's just a, um, his name should be Bo. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, the Celts did expand over into France, so, you know, it could be Bo. <laughs> <laughs> like inscribe it on the back of his helmet or something <laughs> or like a tag like a tag that's kind of sticking out of his cape or something so it's like he's uh <laughs> like he's a mama's boy too his mom writes his name on all of his clothing <laughs> okay i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and start building out a helmet let's let's do this control shift d and actually, let's go ahead and save. Mananan McLear. R1. Right. And then we'll go through, we'll call this body. Go down through and call this helmet. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say initialize Q cube. And we'll check this out just to see kind of, okay, so it's really small. Maybe what I'll do then is I'll take this. And shrink him down just a smidgen. Actually, I don't. Eh, er, eh, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll shrink them down some, because uh, the thing is, is that like the uh, if I shrink them down, then the uh, then the uh, Dynamesh resolution will kind of uh, it'll kind of adjust. It won't adjust. It's it's like it's 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 based on the size of the mesh. So if the mesh is smaller and you have the same Dynamesh resolution, the polygons are going to be bigger. But if you make the bit mesh bigger, then the same resolution will be smaller because it's you know the polygons are the same size. But the mesh is bigger, so um, so I can show you. I can show you what's going to happen right now. Let's see, it. oh, it turned it off. Geometry Dynamesh. You see how it gets like a lot lumpier and things like that. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll do that. That's fine. Okay, so that'll work. That'll work for me, for right now. I'll probably go through and build a real mustache for him later, um, but I'm not at that point at the moment. We'll just go through and kind of smooth some of these things out, get rid of some artifacts. Alright, so that's good for right now. Let's go up to that, or I guess down to that helmet. Okay, good. Dynamesh is off, which is what I want. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. And actually, I could probably get rid of, oh. Probably get rid of that too, but I'll, let's, let's say delete hidden. And let's just get rid of the bottom row as well. Let's just go ahead and say this, that, delete hidden, control D. And then we'll start to kind of pull out this helmet shape. Eh, maybe not. Let's. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Delete that hidden. That's. I think that'll be a little bit better. Say solo. Let's 
Let's keep it, I guess. <coughs> I keep going back and forth. And, you know, that's just kind of how it works. That's just part of the game. But, uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and take these four corners. And we'll just kind of shrink those inward. Okay, so if you hold Alt and use any of these <coughs> any of these uh, scaling cubes, any of the three axis cubes, the, the Y, the X, and the Z. Um, it'll uh, it'll like holding alt and using those will go through and it'll make it so that it scales in the other two directions and it'll ignore that one. Uh, so it's super super cool. Flipa lo rápido que construyes. Gracias amigo. up for right now I'm gonna kind of pull this back okay I do want this to mimic that uh, the depth that I'm getting there and I'm definitely going to want to kind of bridge this across let's, let's see let's do this I'm gonna say bridge bridge them edges mirror and weld and then for this we'll say stitch to end point boom beautiful okay so this is starting to get somewhere Okay, the head feels like it needs to be adjusted. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'll dig that. The helmet I'll have to adjust so that it kind of goes around it a little bit more. But uh, but uh, but yeah. So this is going to be kind of kind of neat. Um, The Dynamesh thing you're talking about has something that I have <laughs> that I have yet to wrap my head around. <clears throat> I get that. Um. <laughs> have I watched Raya and the Last Dragon yet? No, I have not. Um, in fact, honestly, I'll probably not watch it until June fourth when it comes out on uh, Disney Plus, like as part of the as part of the subscription. <coughs> I'm uh, I'm thrifty like that. <laughs> Skip it. Skip it. Oh, that's so sad. That is so sad. Uh, we're we're super excited about it. Let's turn off transparent. Okay, I'm gonna add a resolution layer here. Yeah, we're excited about it. This dude's gonna be so cool when he's all grown up. <laughs> Let's go through, grab these, control W, control W. And then I just wanna give this some good, um, Ah, oh, subdivisions. Delete lower. I 
want to give this some good rings kind of going up the top so that way I can kind of smooth it out a little bit better give it some more give it some more uh, like have it hold its shape a little bit better yeah let's go ahead and soften that smooth a little bit better oh don't do that I'll probably have to go through and kind of like model this out a little bit better so that it's got a little bit more of a of an edge flow going around that face um, <clears throat> but I'll get to that I'll get to that at some point <laughs> and I do think I want to kind of keep that shape of the helmet a little bit better so we'll just you know, just to block it in right but it's still you know it's, it's important Smooth that down. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Let's block in something else now. Okay, so cheese. Let's block in some arms. Oh, let's get into his body right here. I do want his arms to be kind of you know beefy you know beefy but also pretty uh pretty simplified so not not super anatomical but still have some sort of semblance of uh of actual human anatomy going into it I mean, I, 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 yeah, so, I mean, I've always been kind of that way where it's like, <laughs> I wait for the movie to come out. I don't like going to theaters. And so, like, and, and, you know, less so now that there's, you know, a raging pandemic outside. But, uh, yeah, it's like, I've, I've always kind of waited for movies to hit video. And then I'll either borrow it at the library if I, you know, if, and if I really like, or if it's something that I'm really, really interested in seeing, I'll just go and buy it. Um, Big Hero Six was that way for me. I went ahead and just bought it instead of uh, instead of going to see it in theaters. Um, <clears throat> a whole bunch of movies have been like that for me. Um, let me see. It's not bad, but I passed out the first twenty minutes. <laughs> Golly, Jose. Ah, uh, that's funny. Best ever. I'm doing well. How are you doing? In este video, me estoy dando cuenta que no uso ni la mitad de si brush. Yeah, nadie us, nadie, no hay ninguna persona que usa ni la ni la mitad. Uh, es que generalmente hay herramientas que se pueden usar, um, pero Siempre usamos las cosas que nos sirven más que todo, como, como, la, la, como yo, siempre está, yo siempre estoy usando las herramientas de, de esculpir y también de hacer topología. Um, aparte de eso, como realmente no hay, no hay mucho que me gusta usar. Um, hay veces en que me gusta experimentar con cosas como nano mesh o micro mesh o cosas así, pero en verdad como me gusta usar, <ríe> gracias hermano, um, pero sí, generalmente me limito un poquito en, en las cosas que, que uso. Yeah, I love Spanish. <laughs> Trying to figure out like neck design here. Let's see if we can do something like that. I'm trying to decide if I want to give him like some sort of shoulder muscles or what I want to do. 
let's let's give them to him just so that he has them. If we don't like them later, then we we'll, we can just kind of take them out. <laughs> give him some good traps in there, you know. Grab these. <clears throat> it's going to say deformation. Just polish that a little bit so that it's smoother and matches the structure of everything else a little bit better. Uh, these pieces, though, we're going to use these to kind of start blocking in arms and then we'll pull out shoulders. Um, so let's see. Yo aprendí uh, español en Chile, así que mi español es un poquito más raro, pero <ríe> un saludo desde, Ma desde Madrid. Es... Kingdom Manga Style. Kingdom Manga Style. Boop, boop. <ríe> Truly really glad you speak Spanish. I I'm glad I speak Spanish too. Es <laughs> aprovechando. ¿Qué qué 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 es lo que quiere decir? Como ese ese parte de la de la palabra que que dijiste. Uh, es <laughs> es aprovechando porque aprovechando es como aprovechar España diga okay. Okay. Ahí estamos, pues. Ahí estamos. Sí, eh, es importante para mí que pueda poder contestar preguntas o lo que sea. Uh, porque a mí me encanta el español. Uh, mi señora habla el español. Mi, mis suegros son nicaragüenses, así que como a mí me, me, me encanta el español. <coughs> um, pero sí, yo aprendí primeramente en Chile. Y me fascina el idioma. Me fascina. This is pretty cool. This gave me some pretty interesting lines here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually take advantage of this. If I can. <laughs> here, let's go through. Let's use the mask curve. Just gonna kind of pull that out a little bit. And <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and let's just kind of shrink this down some. <sighs> Let me see. Por güero, pues. <ríe> Lo único que puedo decir es que usted tiene muy buen gusto. Pues sí. <ríe> I hate Spanish. That's my main language. <ríe> Pobrecito.
I love Spanish. Um, I started learning it in high school. Um, it's a it's it's a really beautiful, great language, and it's it's so simple. It's so so simple. And I think one of the one of the great things to me about about it is that like if something is spelled one way, that's how it's said. You know, you don't have to worry about wondering like like oh shoot, how do you pronounce this word? It's like you just freaking read it. <laughs> like it's right there <laughs> it's like you gotta love that french it's like you've got to wonder it's english you've got to wonder <laughs> and it's like oh my goodness it's so like french is so hard i've been trying to learn french the last this past this past year now almost uh, in fact i gotta check my duolingo Ooh. Okay, let me see. Oh, let's 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 undo that. Let's go ahead and we'll say Control D, a couple times, polish it. Okay, so we're getting this big stately shape here. Un día tiene que buscar canario que <laughs> que hablamos diferente. Si yo yo conozco un caballero de los de de las Islas Canarias. Um, creo que se llamaba Miguel, pero no recuerdo muy bien. Pero sí habla muy distinto. Como hay 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 varias palabras que que usa que yo no no podía ni ni captar ni un poquito. <laughs> Pero sí habla muy, hablan muy claramente y eso eso sí es muy muy bello de él. No hace falta que lo digas, hablo, es, hablo francés vivo en Toulouse hace dos años, no conseguiré nunca. Ya, yeah. es, es, eh, 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 es, es un idioma muy, muy difícil, sí. Seguro que no sabe que es a rejuntarse, no. Potarate nunca comerás un queso mejor que el queso de la palma. Interesante. Never heard of that. Palm cheese. It sounds kind of weird. <laughs> I won't lie. It sounds weird. <laughs> but, uh... Is it good? Okay, here we go. Here, Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start blocking in... So some of these shapes, like for the clothing and everything, the clothing is going to be kind of just fakety faked. Habla re piola. Serás tú pibre, un pibe, pibe de 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 Argentina. Que ahí es el único lugar donde he escuchado la palabra piola. De los pibes argentinos. Tengo que darle ropa. Es posible que, que tengo que a, a empezar a hacer que los live streams sean solamente en español. <risa> Que creo que, que toda la gente me están descubriendo. <laughs> Split unmasked. I call this body tunic. Yeah, it's funny because I have I have uh, friends that come on to listen that are Spanish speakers primarily, 
but then they speak it they speak in english they they do like they prefer to do the stream all in english and everything like that uh, but then i've got people that come on that speak just spanish and come on in spanish and things like that and then <laughs> So it's 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 kind of it's it's fun. It's really really fun to get the the range of people. Um, but yeah, always interesting. Okay, let me see. The fever. Can you check? Let's go ahead and put in a couple of loops in here. Gotta block in kind of like that uh that neck. <laughs> Un life solo en español. <laughs> Multilingual. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's super messed up. <laughs> Multilingual chat. Me gusta. <laughs> Pues en directo voy a terminar más o menos dentro de una hora, una, dentro de una hora más, más o menos. Um, es que a las once, uh, pues en, en dos horas más, um, va a empezar Paul Gabriel de Pixel Logic. Uh, él va a estar en vivo en do, dos horas más, así que yo tengo que... Y yo tengo que uh, salir antes que él empiece. Let's say inset polygroup island. Oh, I hate that equidescent crap. It's like there are just things that I just love and things that I just absolutely hate. <laughs> and that's one of those that's one of those uh tools that I just absolutely despise is the uh <clears throat> the equidescent feature on what get on the Z modeler. But it's okay. Once you turn it off, it's just off, and you know it's okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and kind of polish that out so that it's a little bit more in line. Oh, shoot. Let's get this to kind of polish out and be smoother in between there. Looks a bit better. Yeah, I, tr I try um, as much as possible um, to kind of just cater to whatever languages there are. <laughs> um, I, I feel like it's I feel like it's just important. Like it's just nice. I do have a Twitch channel. I do indeed have a Twitch channel. Uh, if you want my Twitch channel, you can find me. 
<coughs> you can find me anywhere underneath smartest. Um, and you're gonna f you can find me on social media under smartest. Estoy modelando un concepto en estilizado. Quisiera saber tu opinión. El concepto lo puedes encontrar como Jai Kim Kung Fu is dead. Mi problema es con el pelo. Me, me gustaría saber cómo lo, lo harías. Um, <coughs> a ver. Lo voy a buscar. Dame un segundito. Raquel, oh, de los tigres, alguno de estos, es que el cabello de estos son muy, muy distintos, ¿verdad? Um, bueno, cabello como esto, hay, hay varios ejemplos en mis, en mis, um, en mis videos donde, donde pueden ver cómo yo haría... <coughs> El tigre, pero en persona. ¿Será aquel? Oh, Jekim. Este es. Um, um, así que, como es, este, este cabello, como... A ver, yo tengo YouTube. Vamos por acá. Pixelogic. Uh, playlists. Oh, ¿sabes? Creo que eso fue tal vez en mi canal. Sí, esta fue. Um, Have a little bit more of a peak toward the bottom. para compartirlo con, con ustedes. Este, esta es una manera en que traté de, de hacer como un cabello muy, muy estilizado, como más, más como de afro, pero... A ver, a ver un poquito más adelante. Es que me encanta mucho cómo salió el cabello. Um, pero sí, a, a ver, me, tal vez mejor mostrarles aquí para que... Para que lo vean. Así que aquí, así, así, así salió el, el cabello y, y todo ese, esa técnica está ahí en ese video de, de, uh, del live stream. Así que, pues espero que sea de ayuda. Um, pero es una manera en que puedas hacer algo parecido. Algo parecido. Parecido. Um, <coughs> sí. y, y pues uh, cuando, cuando usas el uh, surface noise para hacer uh, la máscara y todo eso uh, puedes hacer la forma más grande para que puedan sacar uh, unas formas más más, lar uh, más, más, pues más de, 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 de un tamaño más grande así que es divertido sí Salió bien. <coughs> um, voy a sacar 
esto delete hidden sacamos esto delete hidden I'll leave it like that for right now. Or maybe we'll, we'll take it and we'll uh, kind of pull it closer to, to each other. Kind of even it out a little bit. Okay. Do something like that for right now. <coughs> um, hmm. I'm not liking that yet. Okay, let's let's go through. I'm going to say inset that poly group so that it's got that flow going around. say delete hidden now we can take this now we can say let's get rid of that delete hidden insert those multiple loops there we'll get rid of that delete hidden Now let's go ahead and bring this back and now we can go ahead and start to kind of pull this together, make a real shirt out of it. Recomiendas algún libro? Un libro de leer o un libro de instrucción? <laughs> um, libro de leer? Uh, a mí me fascina la serie. Este. Se llama Peter and the Star Catchers. No sé si lo tienen en español o no, pero sí es un, un, un libro muy, muy divertido y es una serie también. Así que como se trata de, de la, del, de, del principio, del, de, del comienzo de, de Peter Pan, es muy divertido, sí. Me encanta. Um, pero aún no lo he leído con mis, con mis hijos, así que... No sé si es bueno para ellos o no. <ríe> voy a sacar este. Y voy a sacar... Say slide. You know what? It might be worth... Might be worth stitching those together actually. <laughs> Seguro que les va a encontrar, eh, encantar. going to kind of 
mirror and weld this. Because I think I do want it to be closed. <coughs> oh, took that a little bit too far. There we go. So we've got this going on, we got that going on. I know there's like a lot happening with this that needs to be cleaned up, that needs to be <laughs> refined. <laughs> but you know, it's it's going, it's it's happening. Pasito a paso. piece control shift X control W control shift S control W just so that way I've got those different poly groups there I'm going to say oh, let's let's go ahead and change this to keep poly groups It's coming, it's starting to come, it's starting to do something. <coughs> okay. I want to block in kind of like his waistband thing here. So let's go ahead and let's just use the uh, my handy dandy ring 3D. Oops. Oops. That's better. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll inflate this a little bit. And maybe not maybe not that much. That's a little bit much. Yeah, let's do something like that. Mm. Je veux aller à la plage. Voy a trabajar, un placer conocerte. Igual, Pedro, que, que te vaya bien, loco. Hey, Steve, are you going to finish the racer someday? <laughs> yeah, that's that's one that I'll probably finish on, on uh, my personal streams. Um, I really, I really, really like that one, and I think it's coming along really nicely. It's just a matter of uh, getting the time. Um... You know what, this is a little bit more broad than I think I want. Let's, 
go ahead and take away some of this shoulder. Let's go ahead and use the new topological, just kind of pull these shoulders into the arms a little bit, pull it into the body some more so that it's less uh, voluminous. I, mean, I still want them to be broad because that'll help us to feel the uh, his, his feel his power, you know, as as a god. But uh, yeah, I don't want I don't want it to be you know sticking out super far anymore. So let's do something more like that. Like that. And these can probably come up a little bit further here. Just kind of soften it out some. <coughs> All right. J'aimerais bien aller à la plage, et au restaurant, mais les hôtels et les restaurants sont fermés. Mais oui. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I'll be making it. So this this uh the shirt that I have currently is is some type of like kind of an kind of like an over tunic sort of thing. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep the sleeves or not. Um, but at the moment, essentially what I'll be doing is yeah, let's let's check and make sure. Yeah, I need to. Grab that. Let's go ahead and grab that. We'll bring it down. Flip it around. Mike's here. <laughs> um, dive design. Uh, hola, puedes uh, al final del clase darme una le lección en básica de presentación de mi portfolio. Um, la cosa que quieres hacer con tu portafolio es, es como imitar un poquito. Imitar lo que lo que hacen los profesionales que, que como eh, si, 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 si ves algo que si hay algo que tú quieres hacer profesionalmente uh, busca busca algunas cosas que, 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 te, que te gustan y trata de imitar lo que lo que hacen. Uh, o sea, uh, um, en, en verdad, como este este live stream no es para, para poder dar críticas y todo eso. Um, así que, sorry. <laughs> Pero... Um, <coughs> Pero si quieres... Es posible que, que me puedes mandar un enlace en uh, Instagram o algo así. Y yo te puedo mandar como algunas... Algunas opiniones. ¿Te parece? Um, siempre cuando doy critic, uh, cuando cuando doy feedback trato de, de realmente mantener mucha honestidad 
porque siento que no te voy a ayudar si, si te digo que todo sa está saliendo bien y que, que sigas adelante porque no, no vas a tener ninguna, ninguna idea de, de cómo estás fallando y, y qué es lo que tienes que mejorar y todo eso. Uh, si te digo que todo está bien y que si, si va bien, uh, es posible que, que en verdad sí <ríe> está haciendo bien. Pero generalmente uh, estoy tratando de dar crítica que, 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 que ayuda y que, que te, va, te va a ayudar a sen sentir y saber cómo puedes se seguir mejor. Um, y que eso es algo que yo hago profesionalmente. Así que realmente no, no tengo mucho tiempo para hacerlo. Um, um, y yo tengo un sitio para mis amigos que quieren ser parte de, de, del grupo de, de Patreon uh, si, si les interesa uh, obtener más uh, feedback todo eso pero um, porque de otro modo es, es difícil para mí encontrar el tiempo en que yo tengo que estar pasando el tiempo en una manera que me va a ayudar a proveer para, para la familia y todo trato de ayudar a la gente trato de ser uh, generoso con mi tiempo <coughs> All right, I start to block in some uh, some things Are there easier ways to retopologize? That was something that turned me off to modeling when I was learning 3D. Then again, uh, I learned from box modeling. Box modeling is important, and getting good topology is important. Thanks, darling. Jean Goff, Goff, Goff. <laughs> that that phrase has always been kind of a hard that that word's always been a hard one. <laughs> Goff. <laughs> Waffle. Let me see. Oh yeah, topology is topology is important. Um, and so I, you know, I I always do things kind of in a combo, and it depends. I have a I have a course online. I mean, you can see the you can see the ad over there in the far, in the far left hand corner. Um, where it's like if you wanted to learn like my full workflow, going and creating a full character ready for production. Um, <clears throat> from a sphere uh, it'll go through the whole topology process UVs everything um, but it's uh, yeah doing good topology is definitely very very important um, but it's uh, but yeah so I, I, I usually go through I do have kind of a combination of things that I'll do sometimes uh, where I'll go through and I'll use the Z remesher and Z brush to get me you know, part of the way there, and then I'll go ahead and kind of, uh, um, and then I'll go ahead and you know just manually retopologize some of the uh, 
some of the little spots that were just a little bit too uh, inadequate. <laughs> um, So it's kind of it's kind of tricky, but I, I really like I really like using Z Modeler. I really like using Z Modeler. I like using a Topology Brush. Uh, those are my main tools that I use inside of uh, doing doing um, inside of ZBrush. Uh, but I also love using I also love using um, what's it called uh, Quad Draw inside of Maya. Um, see will be the focal length in order to make a model for films um, are you talking about the camera's focal length uh, right now I don't even have any kind of <coughs> perspective turned on at all um, I really I just kind of keep it at the at the at the uh, default 50 or you can you know take it down to 35 35 is more kind of like a natural sort of uh, depth there uh, but you know, again, it'll kind of ZBrush camera doesn't work the, quite the same way as a nat natural camera. Um, <clears throat> well, yeah. So, so it's kind of kind of odd. Um, Any thoughts on using ZBrush with the Surface Pro? Um, <clears throat> are you talking about like the Windows Surface tablet? Uh, I've used that before and I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, one, it's really small. Um, but I mean, there are people that have used it and have liked it um, because it's, you know, it, it does have enough computing power to be able to handle ZBrush. Or it can, you know. I mean, it's it's a it's a standalone computer, so it, it works. Um, oh, no me trajo tenedor. Oh well, no importa. Yeah. Emote spam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Raid, I don't know. <laughs> oh, welcome, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand the raid stuff, really. I, I've... I've uh, I've had people raid me every once in a while, uh, both on my personal stream and on here before, and it, I, I I don't necessarily understand how it works. Um, I, I've tried looking for it and be able to raid other people when I'm streaming, but I can't figure it out. Make sure that there's no mask on there. I'm just gonna bring this down. Oh, here, let's close that. Sub tool. <coughs> let's say split unmasked. What should I call this? Helmet skirt. <laughs> Somebody's gonna know the name for it. Um, and I'll I'd have to look it up and see. But it's uh. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's a helmet skirt. <laughs> Uh, let's say geometry, modify topology, delete hidden. Key shot pane, universal. Let me see. What, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that out in just a second. I want to make sure that I don't forget what I'm trying to get in in here.
shoot. There it is. One of the two. Uh, that's the universal brushes to save at the bottom of the screen. I haven't done enough modeling to figure out my own. Um, I know standard clay brush, move, and damn standard. They're usual, the usual ones. Those are really good ones. Um, <coughs> I really like the clay brush. I like the I like the move brush, uh, damn standard clay build up. Uh, Trim dynamic is one of those that I use a ton. Um, Z modeler is one that I use a ton, um, and then I use a bunch of uh, I, well, not a bunch of IMM brushes. I use a, I use a few IMM brushes. I use the ones that I make primarily, um, but every once in a while there there are some that I really enjoy from other people that have been made, like uh, some of like any like anything from Pablo Munoz super helpful <laughs> he has some really cool uh primarily he uses like alpha brushes and sculpting brushes uh he specializes in like really really cool sculpting brushes um yeah i'm trying to think what else i, I really like curve brushes yeah, anything that allows me to <coughs> simplify my workflow uh that's the kind of thing that i like to to go for Take about maybe another 20 minutes or so. And then we'll call it a day. Me tengo que ir. Ha sido un placer tener. Tener un muy buen día. Igual Raúl. It's too absorbed by my sculpt. Did you say you had your own Twitch channel? Yes, I do have my own Twitch channel. Um, <laughs> see why they call you the smartest. Uh, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, you can <coughs> uh, you can find me uh, on social media under smartest, and that includes. Oh, la pibe. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can find me on social media under Smartest. Um, and that includes things like Twitch. That includes things like YouTube, um, Instagram, Patreon, any anywhere that, that you would want to, to look me up. Uh, that's, that's how you can go through and, and kind of find me. Let's go through. Let's give this some um, double-sided fun <laughs> can see I'm still not 100% sure what's going to happen with like the, the body and everything down here. We're going to have to try to figure that out at some point. <coughs> I usually try to go through and, and uh, work these, uh, these sculpts out as much as I can in a day. And I feel like this one is going to require quite a bit more thinking. Um, so I will probably end up... Well, I'll certainly work on it next time. And I don't think I'll work on this on my own stream uh, today. Um, next time I get onto my own stream, I'll probably work on that vehicle. Uh, but we'll have to see. Let's do this. 
just kind of angle these arms up just a little bit. Just kind of build him in sort of a neutral pose. That way he kind of makes more sense. He'll be easier to pose that way later on. <clears throat> they ask how you got the reference image in the corner <clears throat> to have a transparent or remove background. So there are a couple different ways. Um, this one is just a PNG. Uh, so you can bring in a PNG uh, underneath the texture. Um, you see here's my, here's my image right here. So I have the image brought in as a PNG and then I went ahead and added it to Spotlight. Uh, when you do that, when you add something to Spotlight, you got to come over here to Brush, Samples, and turn off Spotlight Projection. Okay, Otherwise it's going to affect your model. Um, pain in the butt. <coughs> but the thing that you can do... Um, so yeah, I, I always try to bring in a PNG. It's the easiest way. Um, if you have an image that you bring in that has a background, uh, you can go through and get rid of that. And I've done that in other live streams. Um, I don't know that I want to, to go through and kind of take the time to do that right this minute. Um, man, I'm trying to decide if I want to, like how much I want to honor the shapes here. Uh, I'll probably just kind of use this as my rough sketch idea and then just redesign things as I go because I like to redesign things. Um, yeah, um, I'll I'll make I'll make a quick uh, YouTube video for that. Um, that'll it's it's a very simple thing. It's a quick thing to to do. Um, so yeah, but yeah, the PNG method is is easily the best. <coughs> um, adjust that a little bit <laughs> yeah pure ref is is uh, it's, it's kind of a tricky tricky piece of software for me I use it but I don't like using it with like the transparency I don't like using it with the <laughs> and yeah since I do have two screens I'm able to keep the pure ref off to the side and whatnot. Um, but yeah, this is kind of one of those things. Let's go through, let's split this out. Split hidden. We'll say belt. Oh, you know what? I should make it like, like more of an actual belt. And then I'll have like a like a fluff kind of going around it. Um, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Um, how do I want to do this? Let's do this, and then we'll say. With Z modeler, we'll say insert, and then we'll just get rid of anything that's kind of extra here. Uh, let's, let's do it this way because these are more even in height, so we'll do that. And then we'll say extrude poly loop. Just hold shift when you do it, and that'll make things kind of slide along or we could just do this poly groups auto groups let's get rid of that geometry delete hidden and then this other piece I'm going to get rid of this And then uh, let's say scale it up a little bit. Another one. Wonder what they're playing. Okay, let's get rid of this one. <coughs> I'm 
let's see, let's say, oops, that's not what I wanted. Just kind of push this in just a little bit. So that way it feels like the belt's kind of pushing in on it some. Okay. All right. So off to a start. <laughs> Should be good. Okay. Let's invert, invert, and then we'll soften it a couple times. Just kind of bring it up some. I'll have to play with this quite a bit, but it's it's going to be. Uh, it's gonna work for us. It'll be fine. Let's pull this in. Let me see, let me see, let me see. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to I'm trying to play with that edge loop right there. So let's just go ahead and we'll say mask edge loop partial. Grab that, invert it, and then we'll go ahead and we will play with the shirt here and here. So much cooler. Okay. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta play around with the different uh, different techniques. Masking is one of those things. There's so many different ways to mask, but it's 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 helpful to know different ways because there are different different tricks and things that you can do to get the uh, the shapes and to get the sculpting uh, abilities that you want. All sorts of things. Um, yeah, I love masking. It's probably one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite tools inside of ZBrush. I'm thinking I might have him with like some sort of uh, some sort of scale mail that kind of goes, or maybe like a like a chain mail that goes like from like around his neck and down down onto his chest that we you know, kind of disappears, and then like a scale mail going over his arms. Um, Seguirás este modelo en tu canal hoy no. Hoy no. Um, no yo, yo siento que hoy no voy a realmente tener tiempo para, uh, para seguir así, pero uh, pero sí voy a voy a seguir con este modelo el, el viernes que viene. Um, this forearm needs a lot of work to get it to be the right shape. Okay, let me see. I was kind of like sketching the, the, oh shoot, that's like a little bit too strong. That's a lot of it too strong. Okay, it is respecting my In fact, here's what I'm going to do. Let's, let's undo that. Let's go ahead and we'll just merge these two together.
So yeah, I'm not trying to get something like super amazing accurate. I'm just trying to get something that's kind of close enough um, because this is going to all be covered anyway. So it's like, I don't want to spend too much time perfecting something that's not going to be seen. <coughs> um, so yeah, I got something like that. Kind of fill in that little area down there, a little gap. on the face a little bit more because the face could be nice to have like a real good you know something there I think with the beard let's go ahead I'm going to I'm going to start to actually let's turn off perspective I don't like having perspective on turn off local symmetry <clears throat> I'm going to say oh shoot Go. Okay. Come on, you flatten. I'll just bring that up so that's about like that. Let's say accept. Rotate it so it's in its position a little bit better. Turn on symmetry. Actually, let's make this a little bit bigger. And we'll kind of elongate it out some too. Let's go ahead and we'll say split um, unmasked points. Go down here, rename this beard. And then with my transpose line, I'm going to go through here and just kind of flatten out the back. This way I can have more control over it. I don't have to worry about the uh, the shape ruining itself for me. I can kind of control it a little bit better and put it where I want it. I'm trying to decide if I want the beard kind of coming up like this or if I want it coming more down. And I think I might want it actually coming down. So let's, let's try this. I want to mask out this front part. And then with this transpose line, we're just going to kind of take it. Let's go ahead and kind of even this out so that it's got a nicer line. I really like the way that that shape is going. I think that that's going to work really nicely. So let's let's go ahead and make like a real mustache for this guy too. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Ten o five. Got about another fifteen minutes or so before I'll call it a day just to make sure that I don't have Dynamesh on. Let's turn that off. Okay, let's take that mustache, make it, make it something better. Just so that it's cleaner, so we have a nicer, nicer shape, so we have nicer everything, right?
Hey guys, question. What is your favorite music? Who's your who's your favorite uh, song artist? What do you like to listen to while you work? Oh, actually, I don't know what Z Cut is. Um, it's it's a new-ish feature, and I can't remember what it does. Um, bring me the horizon, clutch. The guy who wrote the Kumate song, it's the best movie ever, Bloodsport. Interesting. Lo-fi. You like listening to lo-fi. That's that's what I've tried to tried to get into, and sometimes I like to listen to like some different lo-fi uh, things, you know, different channels and things like that. But uh, it's funny, is like a lot of times what I'll what I'll listen to are things like you know oldies, like I'll listen to like the Commodores, or I'll listen to the Beach Boys, the Beatles. Um, And I feel like I feel like those types of genres of songs help me to to kind of tone out, like like just be able to to really focus on what it is that I'm doing, you know, just because it's it's upbeat, it gives me energy, uh, and since they're songs that I know really well, it's like I I know what to expect, and and so it's it's not like it's you know going through and being distracting or anything like that. So it's it's kind of nice from that standpoint. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 always it's always really interesting to kind of see different people's uh, music choices. Let me see, Nova Bass Jazz Channels. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I love jazz. Uh, I actually grew up playing the saxophone, so I I uh, I love I love jazz. Jazz. Yeah, let me see. I'm going to take. Something about right there. That's about where the mouth needs to go. Not that I think he'll really actually need a mouth. We're never going to be able to see it, <laughs> but at least we'll know where it is, right? <laughs> okay. Let me see if we can. Let me see how much we can get blocked into this guy before stream needs to end <laughs> get some good like eye bag geometry in here just something to kind of kind of block it in right Go ahead and add a couple of subdivisions. We'll go ahead and we'll hit polish just a little bit. Um, but then some of the other things that I like to listen to, like I've got um, a lot of Dua Lipa songs. Love Dua Lipa. Um, I love listening to like Paula Abdul. She's like one of the ones from my childhood that's just 
you know, super, yeah, I'm fond of, you know, <laughs> one of my favorites. Okay, that's looking cool. That's starting to work. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of pinch here just to kind of drive that plane change a little bit. And we can use some uh, trim dynamic to kind of help to reinforce it. to decide if I want to give him like big bushy eyebrows <laughs> or if I want to give him like just just these small like thin eyebrows um, he doesn't need to have anything fancy since he's his eyebrows aren't going to be super visible um, but I don't know Went down the wrong tube. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to try to play with this shape a little bit better. Cause I am liking the shapes that I'm getting in here. Like I love, yeah, let's go ahead and let's do this a little bit. So I love, I love getting different continu uh, uh, continuations of lines. So like, I love seeing things like how this helmet's kind of running down and it kind of continues down like that. But then there's also like a little bit of a break where it's like the face goes in and then out and then back in. Like those shapes contrast each other really nicely. And then the way that the helmet kind of like curves back in like that, it's like, it's this, it's this nice continuation. And this, this gentle curve is kind of like the average curve of like these two lines right here. So those two lines work really pretty nicely. Um, this line, I think I might try to make it go a little bit, mm, a little bit softer. Yeah, I might try to make it a little bit softer. And that'll be easier to do once this has more resolution. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and I'll save this so that I can get to it later. Um, yeah, little things like that are really, really nice. Yeah, I, lo I love improvisational jazz. It's really good. Heavy metal, huh? <laughs> what am I eating? I'm eating a waffle. Uh, my wife brought up a waffle for me. Um, dude, I'm glad you're able to come, Jose. Thanks, thanks for uh, for tuning in, and I'll see you around. I'll see you around. You're usually around, so we'll see you around. <laughs> Let's kind of tweak this just a little bit here. Uh, pull that back a little bit. Okay. That gets a little bit better of a, of a curve there. Okay, this piece. Pull that out, refine some of the flow there. 
And then I think what I'll do, let's 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 take this and we'll just kind of strengthen that uh, that transition right there. This has a little bit more shape, a little bit more of a more of a break. So it's like swoop and then swoop down. Something like that's a lot more, a lot more appealing. Just a little thing, but it super helps. I can go take it and just kind of pull it out just a little bit further. Okay. Yeah, these arms are terrible. Don't don't uh, don't pay too much attention to the arms. <laughs> Let's get rid of that little lumpiness right there. Got uh, I think it could be cool to explore something uh, like a, like an idea of like uh, like some sort of feather decor that kind of comes off of his shoulders, like like some sort of wings. But it's like I don't want him to feel like he's. That feels a little bit too. A little bit too, like a little bit less aquatic than than what I would want. So let's not do that. Okay. Darky, 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 darky. Now, belt buckles are kind of interesting. I want to get a belt buckle kind of blocked in. I don't know that I want to get. So, I mean, for for belt buckles, there are a whole bunch of uh, IMM primitive brushes that, uh, not primitive brushes, uh, IMM brushes that you can use. There's this uh, clothing hardware uh, brush that has belt buckles, um, but this, I mean, it's. It's they're very basic. You know, I'll show you real quick. Uh, so you know we've got like things like this, which is a very naturalistic sort of belt buckle. You know, like you would expect to see on someone's trousers. Um, but it's not quite. It doesn't read Celtic to me. So what I want to do is I'm going to use my IMM primitives. I'm going to use this ring simple. And then I'm going to say. Oh, here, let's let's make sure that our uh, gizmo is centered. Okay, click and drag that out. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have to turn on symmetry just to make sure that thing plants right in the center. So we've got a couple of things that we can do. Uh, Celtic belt buckles. I'm gonna look that up real quick. Oh, you know what? It's I've got like less than ten minutes to kind of wrap this up. Yeah, so there are a lot of things in here that we could do. Oh, and that could be really cool. So I mean, there's the idea of like uh, this is really neat. Bookmark that. Save that image. Not to my taxes though. Let's go to McLear. Save that there. We've got something like this, which is you know kind of got typical sort of uh, Celtic runes on it. Um, 
this looks really cool. I mean, it's from Etsy, so I mean, it's and it's it, it feels like it's much more of a Western sort of sort of belt buckle, but it's it's still really cool. Yeah, let's go back and see if we can find anything that's like historically like actual uh, recovered from historic sites. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, it looks like there are a bunch of things. Let's let's try this Iron Age belt buckle because because that might make some sense. This is kind of cool. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't have the same read to it, though. Here's what we'll do: we'll we'll make a we'll make a disc, and we'll use the disc to kind of just block everything in for now. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do: I'm going to take this, select a sphere, we'll say flatten. I want to have the symmetry in this side, so we're just going to flatten on both sides at the same time. Pull it out some, make it bigger. It doesn't need to be too much bigger. Let's do something like that. And then, I mean, there there are going to be all sorts of things that we can go through and add to this. But right now, let's go ahead. Let's start with <coughs> start with something like this. Just to be able to block on these shoulder plates. Uh, we'll say sub tool, uh, split unmasked, go down, we'll say shoulder plates. Control shift X. Say geometry, delete hidden. And actually, I might go through and, and uh, get rid of these as well. Oops. flatten it down. I am going to flatten this down and going to work this manually because of um, because this this type of armor would have been created manually um, and you know I mean this dude's a god so I mean he probably would have had you know snapped his fingers and it would have been done or whatever I don't know I don't know how <laughs> I mean in, in Hercules it's kind of cool because uh, you know they had oh gosh I forget the name of I forget the name of that character that uh that character in Greek mythology that that was the blacksmith um but you know it's something that that is you know fairly simple you know I want to I want to keep it with kind of like a handmade sort of sort of look. Or like it's seen battle, or like it's you know whatever. But either way, like it needs to not feel absolutely perfect. It needs to feel good, but not perfect. Not machined, and not fresh. <laughs> okay, so we're getting some of those shapes in there.
we're going to keep his we're going to keep the proportions the way that we have them i think that i think that this is working really nicely um and then i think gosh we might we might call this uh we might call this good for the day um i need there are a few things that i'll have to decide between now and the next time i jump on to stream this guy and that'll include things like um like i don't know just different dis different design questions that i'm trying to ask myself of like you know what am i going to do am i going to have uh like leather armor over his body um with like a like a quilted sort of pattern with like a like a like puff squares am i going to have um leather with like um with like just metal plates over the top um that could be cool yeah that's that's going to be kind of part of what i need to kind of ask myself with this uh, the other thing that I was asking myself is whether or not I wanted to have this just be cloth and have it be so that it was, um, you know, so, some sort of soft body that's kind of going in through there. Um, yeah, just different little things that I got to ask myself. And then I'll worry about making the cape in another another time. Um, I, w I do want to experiment with ideas on how to make this helmet feel a little bit more regal. Uh, I need to make sure that I make him feel like he is aquatic. So maybe like his beard will have like little like seaweed type uh, type pieces to it. Um, like I said, like I was saying too, you know, getting kind of like a scale male sort of effect with the uh, with the armor on his arms. Um, yeah, lots of little little motifs and things that I can put into this that I need to I need to think about for sure. Um, but yeah, we shall get there. We shall get there. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you guys had a, had a good time with the stream. I had a good time. Um, it's always fun going through and starting a new design and, uh, playing with some, with a subject matter that's different and, 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 uh, yeah, something different from what I usually do. You know, I really like playing with uh, with, you know, face shapes and character design and things like that. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys being around here and having fun with me and chatting while I, while I beat the ZBrush pixels to death. <laughs> um, yeah. If you guys are interested in watching, uh, Paul Gabriel will be on in a half hour. Um, just so that you're aware. And I think he'll be talking about like, uh, uh, miniatures and, and, and sculpting for miniatures and things like that. So, so yeah, be sure to check that out if you're interested and I will see you next time I see